all so welcome back yay I pointed this round so that um, I can show you what I'm doing here on this journal Oop, move it a little bit closer even okay so you've got your blank journal you've got a pen and now we're just going to get started creating your custom journal so this I had to share this moment I had to put it off because it was hard it was hard I have to share this moment because I love opening a new journal. Oh, la, 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 la. This one has an elastic on it, which I like because it just stops the journal coming open in your bag. With my one that I've been using, I actually added an elastic to it. It's an old hairband, I think, something like that. Um, and I use the tape to secure the elastic so it doesn't slide about. So you can add elastic. And the other thing that's really nice to have in your journal so that you can mark the page is a ribbon. This one, oh, it's a lined notebook. Ah, I'm going to show you anyway. <gasps> How did I end up with a lined notebook? I was so excited. Do you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to keep this one for something else. I'm going to find one that isn't. So it's another chunky one. We're going to pretend it's this one, okay? Because <laughs> I really can't demonstrate it in the lined one. Oh, how have I bought a lined notebook completely by mistake? Never mind, it's still pink and glorious. So we'll use that for something else. Okay, so we'll, we'll switch to this one and we'll pretend it's thin like this one. Thin is good. Fat like this, not so good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you what how you start the bullet journal. So the idea of the bullet journal is that you get a blank notebook and you turn it into the kind of planner you need so that you have the space and it expands and contracts in a way that you need it to. Now you can do things to bullet journals like stick extra pages in them, which is another reason the thinner one is better. So for instance here, I've added um, pages I've done it more than once I think I've added pages where extra things have happened um, and that is an option that is really easy to do and also you can use colored paper to add pages so that you can um, you can color code and make it more interesting so the first thing you do with a bullet journal is the index this is the, the important bit and I, and my first one, only allowed one page for the index, and it turns out you need quite a lot of pages for your index. So what I would suggest is leaving the first four pages for your index. Now the idea with the index is that you're going to put your page numbers as you create them. So you're going to write them all. So I've put, I'll put the first four pages, but you're not going to write them all, because as you'll see with my one that I've done here, some of my pages are, oop, can you see? Some of my pages, so I have 36 to 37 were notes that I took from a Leonie Dawson session I was watching. 39 to 40 is a whole bunch of things. And so some of them are quite, really quite um, large amounts of pages all in one go. So you don't write all the things up on the index, but you're going to create an index and you can write index. Now the trick with the index is this is your flexibility. This is the real key to the whole um, thing is that you are going to go out and create the pages that you want in your journal. And as you create them, you're going to put in the index what's there. So it means you're not fixed at any point. You don't set up, oh, this is, this is one month that is one month. You actually do it as you go on the blank pages and it means you can mix and match. So you can have, for instance, I've got a calendar, for the, uh, well there's my index in fact. So I've got all of April there but then I've also got um, 1st of April, I've got a poem I've put in there and I put something about when Missy went to the vets. I put washing instructions for a piece of tie dye I bought. So you do you see what I mean? You can you can expand your journal um, by not being fixed with what's on what page, and you create the index as you go. So what you're going to do is you're going to set aside, I'd say definitely the first four pages, one, two, three, four pages. And then your page one starts here. So you just write the page one at the top there. 
So now if you're going to plan for the month, first of all, I would say the first page of your journal is a really nice place to put something inspirational or intentional to really set the intention. To me, there's something very magical about starting a book. So I would do that. And then on page two and three, I would do the first month. So this is the bit that's calendar-like with a, a bullet journal. So if I'm going to create the month of September here, I'm going to write September there. <clears throat> and I'm going to put a to-do list here. And then I'm going to put all the days of September and you get better at making enough space for it. Okay, so if you'll see I've got all the days, the dates of September going down there. Now you can also put whether they're a Monday or a Tuesday or whatever. What I tend to do sometimes is just mark off the weekend. So I know that was a Thursday, Friday, so I've got a Saturday and a Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But you can go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as well. See what I've done there? Cool. So this is your plan for the whole month so that you can put the main things that you need to do on each day. Now this for me, one, one of the best things about this for me was that I realized that there really is only space for about two to three things on each day. And that's a really important lesson because you haven't really got time to do more than that in a day. So that's the, the days. And in there I'll put any main things that are happening, so if I'm away, or there's an event, or I have a very specific thing to do on those days, I will put that there. And then this here's the to-do list. These are things you haven't, they aren't appointments or schedules that you have here, they're things that you have to do. Now, other bullet journaling things have got symbols, they've got a square for things to do, and a triangle for places to go, and there are other things too. I can't remember them, but I literally, in mine, have just done a to-do list with squares. Really straightforward and simple to-do list with squares. So that's what you've got. And then when you turn over, you will go Thursday, 1st of September. And I tend to put about half a page to a third of a page. What I love about it is if you know you have an unusually busy day coming up, you can create a whole page or two pages or three pages and all you do is you pop over to your index. So you're writing your, writing your page numbers up at the top corner and then you go to your index and you go page one will be your intention for the journal. Page two is to do for September. Page three is the calendar for September. And page four is the first to the third of September. See? So when you're going back, you know exactly where to find those things. And I've used it several times to look back and see when I did things. It's really, really useful. Now, another thing you can do is say you have a project. So I've done the 1st to the 3rd of September there. But suddenly something's come up. And this is what I love about bullet journaling. It's so far it kind of looks like a diary. You could buy a diary that looked like this. It would be fine. But suddenly I go, well actually, today, the 3rd of September, I have to film a tutorial. And I can do my purpose flower. Remember purpose flowers? I can do a mind map. I can grab a post-it note and stick it in. So what I've got here is a whole page dedicated to something I've done on the 3rd of September. So on page 5 I can go tutorial planning 3rd of September. 
So you see suddenly this becomes much more flexible and I've got it exactly in the right place and when I go back to look I can find whatever I need and I can stick extra things in. So really truly that's how I've been using the, the bullet journal. Things I've done is when I watched a Leonie Dawson tutorial I used a couple of pages for notes and quotes got it in the same place I can action plan it what else have I done so a plan for the kitchen recipes that needed to be got for the art house steps for a specific project so you can create a to-do list not just for the month but for a specific project you've got the page number you can go and find that in the index really easily and what else can I do things I've received nice note from my neighbor what else? ticket from the festival I went to here's the uh, very messy packing list for the festival that I went to the best thing about this is next time I go to a festival I look in the index I know we went to blue dot in that time I look in the index and I've got my list ready and I can rewrite it so I live in vehicle pass from the festival meal planning for the festival so I made sure we had the right food and then the days as well so there's August so I hope that's given you some idea if you are I'm gonna go froop yo -ho, there you are if you are watching the Forge live session we're now going to go to live so that you can ask me questions and I can share a little bit more about this if you are one of my Patreon supporters, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please use the comment, comment section below um, to ask me any questions, share any ideas that you have. And you can laugh at me for buying. Look, in my defense, I check the edges of things, right? You cannot see lines. When you open the flipping thing, it has lines, not all the way to the edge. Look. Ah, what did it say on the thing? Okay. Whoops. Okay. It was a lined notebook, but it was pink. I think I was distracted by the colour in my defence. It's pretty groovy. So I will be using this line notebook for something different. I do use line notebooks for if I want to do written stuff, poetry and so on. So I use them. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, just a little introduction to the notion of bullet journaling. And um, yeah, as I say, 